Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy Proco Taco and today is the sports car show in Toronto. I'm gonna go check that out. We're gonna drive there right now. Check in again once we get there. The Proco Taco Show. What's going on you guys? Proco Taco here with this crazy special edition of the Proco Taco Show. We're finally here. Uh, we just parked let me put the camera there and see if you guys can kind of see the place a little bit. So there's the entrance there. I'll record a bit more after, but um, we're finally here. The show is all weekend long. Uh, let's go ahead and go inside. Okay, okay, so I already went inside and I forgot to take the camera. And I have a hockey card now. <laughs> I myself oh, we've cracked open some series one some cool hits in there um, and I bought some stuff and we're gonna go back in now okay and we're gonna take the camcorder this time let's go okay and so we are walking towards the sport card and memorabilia expo let's look both ways before we cross the parking lot street street parking lot Whatever this section of the parking lot is called. Entrance five. Dun, 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 dun. We got a bag of goodies and bought some more stuff. Just checked out that sweet card shop that's in Scarborough. I'd actually never been to it. Uh, it's called Dolly's. But uh, we're walking back to the car now. And we're gonna go get something to eat because we hungry as beep. Beer beep. It's time to go home, Proco Taco. It's time to go home. What's going on you guys? Proco Taco here. So we're back uh, at home at the studio from the Sports Card Expo. And I thought I would just kind of recap everything we picked up today. So I took this checklist here to finish off my Tim's set. Um, I have a business card here from Dolly's. A uh, really cool uh, store that allowed me to record their... Uh, Basically their stand that they had there at the expo. Um, so a huge shout out to you guys, thank you for that. Um, so here is a rookie card of Proco Taco. I'm not sure on the trade value on this one, but if anybody's interested, <laughs> uh, let me know. <laughs> um, uh, so I cracked open a case of uh, series one, of the new series one with my buddy Ralph at the expo so we can get the redemption 
and these are two quick hits here. Um, so Charlie McAvoy, Young Guns, UD Canvas, uh, worth about like I've seen. I just looked it up on eBay right now. The sold listing, 60, 70 bucks for this card, which is pretty good. The box was uh, 90 bucks, so that's nice. And then of course you get um, the uh, the promotional packs if you open up a box there at the expo. And uh, opened up the pack, and we pulled a nice Alexander Nylander um, autographed card here. 22 out of 50. Um, really nice. William Nylander's brother. I might hold on to this one just because uh, he's Nylander's brother, right? Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, here's the rest of the hits that we got. So, these brand new young guns Ivan Barbashev. It's a canvas here of Giroux. Another canvas, Alec Martinez, Hayden Fleury Young Guns, Miku Rantana and UD Portraits. So it's all this to Ralph while we're breaking these. Like the the portraits look really cool this year. I really, really like them. And actually the whole set overall, but um, I still don't like the portraits personally. I don't know why, like like kudos. Like these are like 10 out of 10 for portraits, but for some reason, I'm just not appealed to these. Um, uh, Tarasenko portraits. And we hit a game jersey here. Brent Seabrook. So we were, uh, we were sitting in the Brosner, um, like the booth where you can break your cards and get the, the promo pack and the top loaders. And uh, so I bought the box, but I told Ralph, just open up a pack or two. Like, why not, man? We're both sitting here, so. He picks up a pack and he's like, uh, this one's got something good in it, <laughs> you, you have to open up this one, this one's for you. So I opened it up and he was right, there was a Brent Seabrook game jersey in there, so that was really cool. Um, what else we get here, Shining Stars, Alexander Wenberg. And uh, I really like these inserts actually, the Centennial Standouts. Really cool insert in the product this year. Frank Mahovlich here. Uh, we actually got the Young Guns checklist. And our break that we did there. Sorry I didn't record it guys, but uh, Jack Roslovic Young Guns. UD Canvas Mark Edward Vlasic. And the canvas cards look really sharp this year. I really like them. Look at the back of that. Like that's a legit canvas card. That looks so good. I really love it. Um, Bobby Orr, the uh, Centennial Standouts. This base card is in here because it's awesome. Austin Matthews in the same past jersey. Really cool. Uh, Taylor Hall, Shining Stars. Centennial Standouts, Bobby Orr. Chris Kelly of Centennial Standouts, Shining Stars here of Ryan Johansson. Another Young Guns, Rasmus Anderson. Tarasenko. This one's cool. The Mew. Who is signing on Sunday at the Expo. Then some more portraits, Eric Stahl. And, uh,. Hampus Lindholm and Evgeny Seshnikov. Seshnikov, yes. Um, and then I put these in sleeves because they're pretty nice. The uh, red parallel shining stars of Crosby. So that's a pretty nice card. It's actually up for trade slash sale if anyone's interested and collects Crosby. Really nice card to add to your collection. The red parallels are replacing the uh, blue parallels in this year's set. And then this was from the promo pack. It came with the Alex Nylander, Lars Eller, UD Midnight out of 25. Um, and I posted this one on Instagram. Make sure you follow me there at Proco Taco. I got a mystery puck, 20 bucks. Um, a few like legendary players and Maple Leafs and stuff. But uh, anyways, it lets you pick what puck you want, and we pulled uh, Glenn Anderson, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2008. 
So this one's actually up for trade and sale too. If anyone's interested in that, if there's any Oilers fan out there that wants to add to their collection. Um, and then, so here's the box we cracked, me and Ralph cracked at the expo. I actually still have a redemption wrapper here that I forgot to claim because I'm a little lightheaded sometimes. There's a, another series one hobby box here, still sealed completely. Um, and I'll be opening that up on the show for you guys. And then uh, some top loaders. This is really cool. I had seen this on CN Habs fan a while ago. The mini jersey sets from like a decade ago. So like every pack has a mini jersey. And I bought two boxes of that from uh, Grizzly Sports Cards. This one's 0607. That other one's 0708. Um, then I have an empty. Well, the tin was empty, but I filled it up a bit. I bought some graded cards. These were five bucks each. Uh, this one's a 1979 OPG card of Jerry Butler, graded a six. I was really intrigued by it because a while back. Uh, semi pro set rest in peace my brother um, sent me a uh, I believe it was a Daryl Sittler hockey card um, anyways it was it was a super old school uh, Toronto Maple Leafs hockey card exactly the backing was exactly this like the skate and I recognized that so I so saw it was five bucks and I said you know let me pick that up maybe I'll slowly start an OPG collection I don't know but I decided to pick it up. It was only five bucks, so why not? Um, and then I picked this one up too of Wayne Thomas, 1977 OPG. Uh, it says Rangers there because he was traded, but in the photo, he's with the Maple Leafs. So that is the back of that. Um, okay, what else did we pick up? Um, so this one was Ralph, he spotted uh, these uh, cards here. There's a vendor with a bunch of Maple Leaf stuff. And uh, this is an autographed uh, rookie card, uh, numbered out of 43, so numbered to the jersey of Nazem Kadri. A jersey piece there as well. From 1011 The Cup. So really cool, uh, really nice card. Um, what else we got in here? We got uh, our top loaders that we opened up. Let's say 17, 18 young guns at the top. And then uh, some business cards there. And we actually bought all the cards to complete our Tim Horton set. Uh, so Brad Marchand, triple exposure, line a clear cut. And I'll. Uh, make a video on this one. We put them all in the binder. binder. Thomas Chabot. Vladimir Tarasenko. Max Pacioretty. Vetchkin. And uh, Line 8. So, the really cool thing with the Tim's cards was uh, a week before the expo I went to um, the West Hill card show and there was a vendor there selling some of the Stanley Cups uh, that were in in beer boxes back in the early 2000s and I asked if he had um, any mugs uh, there were little mugs with the teams that were also sold around that era in like little vending machines and uh, anyways uh, he recognized me at the, the sports card expo like I went to go ask about the Tim's cards um, because I was looking to trade the uh, the redemption I pulled, the uh, Pacioretty redemption from the Tim Hortons. Uh, so that's for trade if anyone's interested in that. Um, but I was looking to trade it um, to either like finish my set or for a different redemption pick. He had a, a Riley jersey relics. So I was looking to trade for that. Um, but uh, he was a Leafs fan as well. Um, and anyways, he recognized me from the last show and um, we just kind of started talking and it turns out 
Uh, his name is Nelson, and my name is Nelson. I know you guys know me as Prokotago, but my real life name is Nelson as well, so I was like, oh, holy crap. And then uh, basically found out that he's Portuguese, and I'm also Portuguese, and we're both Leafs fans, <laughs> we both collect hockey cards, and it was just, it was just like so mesmerizing like I was just like you know what like let's finish this set like and I pretty much bought all of those Tim's cards except for one the lightning clear cut off of him and uh, it was pretty cool so uh, hopefully I see you again Nelson at the uh, West Toronto card show and uh, hopefully uh, collect some more hockey cards together but um that, that was that was the halls um, from that show. I think there's one more box. Hold on. There's one more box here. I believe. Oh, two more boxes. Um, so these boxes here are from the Toronto Star, which is a newspaper in Toronto. Um, early 2000s, I believe. And I've previously opened up one of these. And right there where it says Ty Domi, it said Matt Sundin. And the 20 packs in this box, each and every one of them had a Matt Sundin insert. Um, they're all the same, but I found it pretty cool. So I saw these at the expo, and this person actually had a few of them. So I got picked up the, the box with the Ty Domi inserts. And then there was another box with Ed Belfour. And, um... These were just five bucks for the box, which is pretty sweet deal. You can't buy much um, for five bucks these days. But um, that is everything for the Sports Card Expo. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. Uh, stay tuned. There's more to come. If you enjoyed this episode today, make sure to click that like button as that really does help me out. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you subscribe. I'd love to have you join our community. Come join Proco Talk Donation. All you have to do is click that subscribe button. All right, guys. So I uh, hope to see you soon. And until next time, peace out. Proco Talk. Thanks for watching. To watch another episode, click one of the rectangles. Make sure to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. I know you want to.